We're here at the Curragh for Darley Irish Oak State. It's the big day of the year for the Phillies, and we've got a small but select field for this year's lineup. Let's have a scoot around and see can we find some winners. I suppose experience counted in the end, or did it? Yeah, possibly did. Possibly did all right. He uh, we done things well today. The last day to make his own run, and so it was lovely for him today to get a lead, picking up nicely between the two horses, and then done enough when he hit the front. So he's a horse that will probably stay further in time, and you know, appreciate better ground. Is he is he going to be a, a horse to work to keeping an eye on? I think so. Yeah, I think he'll step up. I just say the first uh, Derby weekend was a lovely maid, and plenty of winners after coming out of it already, and they continue to do so. But you now he's a horse that'll step up to stakes class, and he wouldn't know where he go. He, he looks like ours to keep improving. Were you always happy because obviously you the hot favourite in front of you for, for most of the straight? Did you think you were always going to get there? Uh, to be honest, when I turned in and we passed the two ball, Pat Smullin on the favourite quickened up well and I thought he might have got away, got away too far me. But um, the last four of my fillies stuck her head out and she stayed really well. And a half for him down, I kind of knew I was going to get them. So, um, look, it was a good result, so we're all happy. She's obviously a tough filly. That's two listed wins and a group three. Will she get a, a chance at a, at a group one maybe later in the season? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know what the boss has in his mind, but um, the way she's improving, um, look, why not? It might be worth a chance. So, um, hopefully, we'll have to see what the boss says. Raffaele, he couldn't have done it any easier in that hang this mistakes. No, he, he's a horse of considerable ability and a uh, uh, big plus for him at the present time is that he handles the soft ground very well. I may ask you about Don Approach, everything, how's he since Royal Ascot? Yeah, he's had an easy time since then, he's very well in himself. We're just beginning to step it up now at the moment, so uh, uh, we'll find something for him in about four weeks' time. The three and the two, I thought this is all over because uh, she was down on the rail and got in the box and couldn't get out. And it was never our intention to be in there. We were aware of the danger of a pacemaker in front. You're drawing one coming back on you. But you know, Johnny Murta legitimately rode his race, kept her where she was, and then he kicked. And uh, I think she's done very well to pick up on the last furlong. I didn't think it was possible. It just shows in classics and in big races, it's every joggy for himself out there. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, they, there's, you know, they ride to their line, that's their line. Doesn't mean they say, oh, by the way, you're the favourite, do come out. No, 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 they have the right to hold you in, and which happened to her, but he, she managed to have the class to overcome it in the end, which was great. And she had to do it the hard way. She's obviously a hugely improving filly. Very fast, and she seems to be doing with her racing. She's weighed in like a boxer. She's weighed in heavier for this race and for her previous races, so she's taking it very well. We're here with Audrey O'Dwyer, the main organiser of this upcoming jog for Jockeys. Audrey, you're getting plenty of publicity for, for this charity fundraiser. Yeah, we absolutely are. In fairness, uh, we put an awful lot of work into it and I just hope people come out and support us on the day. It's next Sunday here at the Curra, uh, also in Leopardstown and Limerick. Uh, as I said, Sunday the 29th of July, 12 noon. It's 5k, it's actually 3.1 miles. So you can walk, you can run, you can jog. You don't have to be massively competitive. I saw the Facebook page last year and had entered uh, to take part and then I was lucky enough to get a part in Shameless and couldn't do it. So I was over in Manchester and I kind of people are saying you bottled it, you went, you took this role in Shameless just to bottle it, not to run five kilometres. But um, I've decided this year I'm hanging around and I'm going to be here, right here, this day next week to take part. And listening to Audrey and speaking to her, you don't really have to be into running to take part. Not at all. I, don't, like, I know I'm bringing down a bunch of people and they're going to walk, they're going to crawl, they're going to get into prams. I'm sure they're going to be shopping trolleys, anything just to come down. And it, it's it's only 25 quid. As I say, like you know, I think um, five people can enter for 100 quid. Uh, get on to jogforjockeys.ie and you'll see all, all the ways you can enter and help out. But um, I, I'd say I'm going to try and run it, but I'd imagine I'll be uh, walking most of it. Yeah, we are jog for jockeys next week, yeah. very good fun now and it was good fun last year, we ran it in a good time last year and I haven't said I've been training away, we have to keep fit anyway as jockeys so it's just something to aim for and train for so looking forward to it now yeah.
Well, that's it. Darley Irish Oaks Day comes to an end, and we've had a splendid afternoon here at the Curragh. Great Heavens has won the big race, and luckily the heavens have stayed dried. We'll see you again.